Thank you guys for tuning into another video. We have the 2023 Honda CRV Hybrid Sport Touring. So this is the highest level you can get in the lineup. Remember, there's four of them. You have the EX, which is now your base model. You have the Sport, which is the lowest hybrid. You have EXL, which is the highest non-hybrid. And then this Sport Touring, which is fully loaded. So there's some features on here you cannot get on the EXL. And if you don't want a hybrid, but you want these features, then I don't know what to tell you. You gotta get this, because this has everything. Um, I think Honda thinks that more people are gonna go for hybrid, and I think they kind of want you to lean towards hybrids anyways. This year, hybrids are getting a special treatment. Now, to even tell that this is a sport touring, you're gonna notice on the bumper right here, you have these garnishes, kind of like uh, these pieces, the two circles, because there's no fog lights. CRVs have no fog lights at all, not even on the sport touring. Um, that is a trend with these new cars. They're getting rid of uh, fog lights. It's just, it is what it is. This kind of brings back as if you have fog lights or kind of like the style of having fog lights. So it's actually pretty cool. On the Sport Hybrid, which is the lower hybrid, this piece will be black. And on the Sport Touring, it's kind of like a brush aluminum look, kind of chrome-ish color looking thing. So um, that's a big giveaway that this is a hybrid and the chrome is a giveaway that is a Sport Touring. Sport will be black. You also can see the parking sensors up front. <laughs> I might be pointing right. I might be looking at the camera as I'm doing this. So I'm, I'm over here like, oh, parking sensors right there. But you have the parking sensors right here, uh, front and back on the Sport Touring. You also have parking sensors on the EXL. But the grill is black on all CRVs, but the design on the hybrids are different. Also, this piece right here is black on all CRVs, but this piece right here is actually chrome on EX and EXL, but the Sport and Sport Touring has full black so the black with the black together give you that aggressive look to it if you're not familiar with the 2023 uh, crv at all um i've done a video on all trim levels so far so as the video going by you'll see a link above to kind of check those videos out but what honda did for 23 is completely redesigned longer hood they pulled the windshield back they moved the doors the doors the, the door mirrors the side mirrors on the door greater visibility even on the grill you can see it's a flatter grill now slimmer headlights and th they started with the civic the hrv has a design cue now the pilot is going to have this this design cue so also some differences on the sport touring than all the other trims you get uh actually you get 19 inch wheels and on the ex exl and even the sport hybrid you had 18 inch wheels but the Sport Hybrid will also have a black wheel, but the design is the same wheel as the EX and EXL, just in black. The EX and EXL will be silver. So if you look at all four of them, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But on the Touring, the Sport Touring, you get an inch bigger rim and its own unique design. This I like this design kind of better out of all the wheels, but the EX and EXL never had crazy looking wheels. It's always been kind of chill. Um, the mirror caps on the Sport Touring, gloss black. Even roof rails, standard on the Sport Touring, gloss black. If you get an EX or EXL, then you'll have to add the roof rail, then add crossbars. But since this has a railing already, add crossbars and you're good to go. Moon roof is on all uh, trim levels. As we come to the back, you can also notice some differences. So hybrids get the exhaust finishers in the rear bumper. EX, EXL doesn't get anything. This also doesn't have a dual exhaust. So I know it looks like it does, there's exhaust on this side and this side is actually fake. So if you see up in there, it's not a real exhaust. Because the hybrid has a two liter NA engine, you get single exhaust. But if you get the 1.5 turbo, you get dual exhaust. But I guess Honda wanted to make the hybrids a little bit more sportier. So they didn't add the finishers on the car that actually has dual exhaust. They added it on the hybrid that's single and it's dual on the EX EXL. So it's actually pretty funny, but you have that piece, kind of have like a little diffuser looking thing back here, add to the sport look to it. It actually looks good though. It looks good. It looks more trucky, but not really, but still more premium. Um, Honda still follow the same design language CRV had with these taller taillights for a long time. The reverse lights are LED, the brake lights are LED, but the turn signals are incandescent. So I don't know why they just make it LED because the previous CRV is LED. And you know that this is a hybrid from hybrid underneath CRV, of course. And you know the Sport Touring from seeing the Touring badge down there. Now, the Sport is black and then the Touring is chrome. So pretty interesting how they they went about doing that. I know this one is dirty, it's straight off the truck. 
but these CRVs are selling so fast, especially the hybrids that you gotta, you gotta, you gotta snatch one up because most dealerships are gonna be pre-sold with these things. We haven't had any of them just touch a lot available. So I try to make these videos as fast as I can before the customers uh, come pick up their cars. And obviously we gotta clean this one. This one is sold. I have a deposit on this one, it is sold. But I'm doing a walk around on it before it's gone. One thing the Sport Touring will add is you have a hands-free tailgate. So if you kick the bumper like that, it'll flash at you and it will open. And you can do the same feature to close it. And since it's power, you do have an adjustable tailgate. So you can see, hold set to height. Hold to set height. I can't, I can't speak. Now, I did mention this in my Sport Hybrid video. So this one has the all-season cargo tray in the trunk. I mean, yours won't come with it. You can add this. But the floor underneath does not open at all. I know in the previous CRV, you open it, there was no spare tire. It had a little flat fix kit kind of compartment underneath the floor. But in this one, you can't open the floor at all. Your flat fix kit is right here on the side. So you see like a little picture, a little, little kit right there. And you just pull this piece right here. And your um, flat fix your flat fix kit is in there with your funnel for your gas tank as well. So because that this floor doesn't move. Um, you can't adjust it going up and down like the non-hybrids. Non-hybrids, you're able to lower the floor about two to three inches for something taller. So keep that in mind. There's no spare tire either. You get a flat fix kit and that's it. Um, the battery kind of, the battery sits under the passenger seats and it comes a little bit into the cargo space. So I think, I guess the Honda is like, you know what? We're not even gonna throw a tire in there because we can't fit one in there. But plenty of cargo space though. You're not losing anything in the gas version versus the hybrid version. Um, always been spacious. You guys are gonna love it. You can close, open everything from the key, from the kick feature, from actually hitting the button underneath the H, and there's a button by the steering wheel too to open and close the uh, tailgate. Also, the color we're looking at is meteorite gray metallic. Modern steel used to be the, the dark gray, and now this replaced the modern steel. Um, the sun is kind of setting, so I don't know if I'll be able to get this color right, but you guys can get an idea on the color there see all the little flakes in there it's actually a nice color it's a um not too dark not too light it goes well with the black especially with the black wheels and the black mirrors see the sun is right on it so you guys can get an idea it's like a like a shiny gray almost but not it's not too light yeah, the black and the gray really goes well with each other but i think any color you get in this is actually pretty well you get the key fob on you and the door is locked you can't put your hand in there it will unlock for you it does have smart entry you do have memory seats See the seat's moving by itself. On the back of each key, you either have driver one or driver two. And based on the driver, you can store your seat position per key. So if you're driver one and you set up your seat, your seat and your side mirrors to a certain configuration, when you unlock it with your key, or if you do the smart entry with your key in your pocket, your seat goes to how you had it. Same thing with the other driver. So pretty cool. It's only on the driver door, nothing on the passenger door, but you do have two position memory. One thing I missed on the EXL, is you have auto up and down front and back on a sport touring the exo also has it too so this is like a first because crv even the last year's touring the 22 touring had auto front but no auto rear so now you have auto front and rear so i missed down the exl video but it's actually pretty cool um being as a sport touring you do get this orange stitching specifically for the sport hybrid or the sport touring you see it everywhere even on the steering wheel the shift knob you have the orange stitching everywhere. You also have power seats with lumbar. Lumbar is only in and out, no longer up and down. So that's one thing to look, kind of look out for. And uh, let's get, get inside, kind of check this interior out. So like I said, I've done the EX, the EXL, and even the Sport Hybrid. So the interior should be very familiar. But on the Sport Touring, you will have a standard heated seats button there. That's standard. Wireless phone charger is in here too. And you also get the Bose uh, center point uh, 12 speaker sound system, which sounds pretty good. I have a touring Civic and it has the same um, speakers and they do sound pretty good. Start it up. Hear the engine now, but sometimes if the battery is actually pretty charged or depending on the temperature on the outside, or if you have your heat on or whatever's going on, it'll just be electric only. You probably won't even hear it, but very quiet because they pulled the the windshield back a little bit visibility got a lot better especially with the side mirrors being on the side of the door instead of in that corner over there better visibility especially over here in this corner as well same thing on that side the exl and the sport touring will have the nine inch touchscreen display 
but I believe the sport touring as the built-in navigation. This is the same navigation that's in the touring Civic. Um, the only thing that the Civic touring has that the sport touring doesn't have and no CRV has is the full digital um, cluster down there. Not sure why they kept the half digital, half analog on all the models and not give the touring a full digital. But the HRV EXL is the same way too, so it's it's, it's Honda. So it have this own built-in navigation. You can see breadcrumbs. You can see where you went. The car has been up and down in the dealership. Getting the PDI and everything ready. But um, everything else is pretty normal, like a normal um, CRV. So park, reverse, neutral drive. You have B mode for your regenerative braking if you want to charge the battery a little bit more faster brake hold you have an electric parking brake you have a downhill descent control so it's like cruise control for like off-roading but no one's going to use that you guys are probably not going to use that you do have different drive modes so if you go up the sport then you have normal you have econ and snow which is new for the crv and econ is there i know you used to have an econ button somewhere in the in the cockpit now it's in the drive mode so if you're looking for that you do have that sport touring will have wireless apple carplay and android auto so I just changed the temperature to like 72 and the engine cut off because it doesn't need all that power. So you can see with the engine off, it's pretty quiet in here. The headlights are set to auto all the time. You can still put them in parking light or just turn them on manually, but you also have auto high beams too. And because of this is sport touring, you have a rain sensing windshield wiper. So you have off the next position is auto and low and high. So that is something specifically to the sport touring. I've mentioned in some of my CRV videos already that Honda does have a few uh features that the previous crv had built in that now you have to add it as an accessory so the sport touring won't come with the built-in the home link pretty much so it won't come with the built-in garage openers you have to add that as an accessory i believe it's like 100 and change to do that so keep that in mind a lot of people are surprised like a lot of people assume that this has a garage opener so it doesn't and you have the bolt system in here which is pretty nice and just take a look at the seats again. So perforated seats. They're leather trimmed. So the whole seat is not like real leather. It's kind of like a, I wouldn't say like a vegan leather, but it's kind of like a pleather type of thing, but they're leather trimmed. So I believe the outside is real leather, but the, where you sit is a more, um, I guess, durable material. So it lasts longer than regular leather. We're gonna jump out real fast and we're gonna go to the rear seats. Cause this is actually really important because these rear doors, Oh, gotta, gotta unlock it first. But these rear doors open almost 90 degrees. So you can see how wide of an opening that is. Look at that. So because of that, you can get things in and out. If the seats are folded down flat, you can easily access things on this side. Or if you have a bigger frame, it'd be easier for you to get in and out. It's a good stepping tool, so you don't have to climb into it. And what's cool with the Sport Tourings or the Sport Hybrid you get USB-C standard in the rear. If you get an EX or EXO, it doesn't come with USB-Cs in the back. You have to add it as an accessory, so that's pretty cool. And up front, um, you do have a USB-C up there and a USB-A and a 12 volt power outlet over there as well too. Forgot to mention that when I was up there. And then LED lighting, super nice. And the rear seats do recline, eight different positions. On the previous CRV, it was only two. So we can come all the way back here, or it normally it's kind of fishing up like this way, and look how reclined that one back is. And if you're interested, the sports warning will have an armrest with couple just built in. It is a 2023 CRV hybrid. You can see all wheel drive, sport touring, meteorite gray, MSRP is about 39, 845. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you get white or still night pearl, also, I, I made a short on the Still Night Pearl, so you go see that color. Make sure you check that video out. But, oh, it seems all out of focus. But if you go with white, Still Night Pearl, Urban Gray, uh, I believe Radiant Red, and I might uh, I might miss another color, you have to pay $3.95 more. But if you go with Meteorite, which is this color, if you go with Black, Silver, Canyon River, uh, Blue, and I don't, know what, I don't know what the color, I think that's all the colors, then, you pay three nine five less. You don't have to pay for the special color. Also, the sport tourings only come to all wheel drive. If you want two wheel drive and a hybrid, you have to get a sport. If you get the the fully loaded one, it's gonna be. If you get the fully loaded one, it's gonna be all wheel drive, and that's pretty much it. But you don't lose too much uh, gas mileage. I think it's like two gallon difference between the front wheel. You save two gallons more on the front wheel versus all wheel. So, you know, you're not losing anything too crazy. Just to give you my input of the drive of the 23s, compared to the 22, 
it's it feels a lot more premium um you can tell the crv is a little bit bigger but you can tell it's not drastically different like drastically bigger the drive is more of a premium drive um i've been kind of reading and seeing what a lot of people are thinking about these so a lot of people do want like cool seats and they do want heated back seats and a panorama roof and most of those features are are on the rdx now if those features are not a deal breaker and you want to go up to 50 grand for a, for a crossover then crv is, is the right way to go because you're just under you're pretty much right under 40 for a fully loaded uh, hybrid we are back in the interior kind of want to let you know about some of the safety features you do have standard so honda sensing is standard on all crvs um you will get a uh, low speed detection on the sport touring so that is something unique to this model i believe two to three miles per hour and it's an obstacle you're going to hit it um the crv will sense it and actually break for you so if you're backing up and you know you're in a target parking lot and it's busy and someone's coming down you're coming at the same time and it, it will most likely break for you so you don't hit that car at lower speed so that's something new on a crv the 22 does, does not have that you do have lane keep assist um adaptive cruise control road departure mitigation um something i learned on the sport hybrid is usually on the touring hybrid for 22 for your parking sensor you get a p right here to turn the parking sensor on and off now honda puts it in this menu here so if you go all the way down to i believe driver not driver attention what am i talking about oh safety support there we go and you can scroll through to all the safety features so you have road departure, you have blind spot, you have your low speed braking, that's new for a 22, move up a little bit. And look at that, parking sensor system is here. So if you wanna turn that on and off, you have it here. And the collision mitigation braking as well. And because this is a hybrid, you do have a new screen on here. I went over this in the sport hybrid uh, video and I think I passed it because I'm over here just talking, there we go. So in a power flow meter, you can view your percentage of your battery what's powering your battery, what's powering the car. If the engine's powering the wheels, is the battery, electric motor powering the wheels, is the engine charging the battery, is the regenerative braking charging the battery, you have everything there. But not only that, you have a power flow there, you also have power flow here on this screen. So if you click that guy there, you can see your miles. So I'm on a full tank right now, I got 400 miles. The battery's not even fully charged. And you know, there's no data yet because this thing only has eight miles on it. Like I said, the customer, and I gotta, I gotta get this cleaned up so the customer can you know, pick it up and start adding their own miles on there. You do have paddle shifters in the back of the steering wheel. Those are not to shift the vehicle. This is for your four different levels of regenerative braking. And all that means is when you're driving and you take your foot off the gas, the CRV will slow down um, more based on what you have set. So if you have more regenerative braking, it's not like one pedal driving like in Tesla or some full EV cars but it'll allow you to charge the battery more. If you don't like it, slow down so much, you can have it light and you kind of drive like normal. So you do have blind spot monitoring on the side mirrors, both sides. A lot of people always ask, do they have the camera? They missed the camera. How they got rid of the camera? Because more people prefer to have it, the blind spot on both sides instead of having the camera on one side. Also what's new with the CRV is Wi-Fi hotspot. So you have built in a Wi-Fi hotspot. I think this started in the Odyssey and then now they start putting it, actually no, this on the court. You just start in the quarter, start in the Odyssey, one of them. But now you have built in a hot, uh, now you have a built in a Wi Fi hotspot in the vehicle. And I believe ATT give you a free trial. Don't quote me on that because I know on the, um, yeah, you can, you have, to, you have to log and sign up when you buy your car. But I know on the Odyssey, they, you get like a, a one gig free trial or something like that. And that's actually pretty cool. CRV never had that before. So that is new. This whole infotainment system here is new for CRV. Um, this is pretty much from the Civic that the Civic have and here it's actually pretty cool because if you go to the settings They change up all the graphics and everything. Look at that. That's actually pretty fire Instead of just having a list as you have pictures and stuff like that. So that's actually pretty cool You, you do have remote start on every trim every oh, this thing won't focus There we go. You have remote start on every trim level So you have a power to uh, power button to open the tailgate panic lock unlock and you do have a key built inside so you push that button and slide it out because there there's not a keyhole on the door but they're hidden keyholes underneath the door so make sure you check out all of my uh crv videos we did all four and we did a walk around on all four so if you want to if you're shopping you're trying to compare them your dealership has one demo or they don't have a demo and you want to see colors and stuff like that uh check out the video check out the videos actually 
and definitely help you out. But for the Bernie though, you can do get a lot of vehicle. This is a very important vehicle in Honda's lineup because CRV is our number one seller. I'm sure is that way with pretty every dealership. And uh, this for the 23 Honda just went for a more premium look, premium feel. They gave you a little bit more tech than the 22. Yeah, 22. But this is our first sport touring. And overall, I like it. I like the tech in it. I have a touring Civic. Like I said, um, I have a full digital cluster. I'm not sure why Honda didn't put it in this, but I'm sure they have their reasons. Sport hybrid is probably the way you want to go. And if gas mileage is not a big deal, then just get an EXL, save some money as well. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. We're going to end everything here. If you have any questions, give me, I want to say give me a call. Don't call me. <laughs> just drop a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.